Akwa. What is that? What have you caused on Oh, what have you caused on my turn? Some Freddy Q for some never try video no. Yes. Ah, 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 so who's it then? GQ. Ah, Mr. GQ Video Production. Oh, when you when you are going, I was a broken young chap here in Germany. Who person know how to solve a home truth for you? Aye, zero zero four nine six eight one nine one zero zero nine eight seven. And as a zero zero four nine six eight one three eight three eight two eight zero. Who person know how to solve a mobile so? Aye, zero zero four nine one seven nine nine eight six four two four two. Over to me, so I log on www.jq video service.de. JQ, stay connected. JQ, get them what you gentle quality. We are the best. Make a book with this Amen. Amen. Let us hear the word of God. 
In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. I saw the Lord. Ministry France, hallelujah! Amen. And he has been here because of this program that we're having today, hallelujah! Amen. So let's clap one. And now we are giving thanks to the Lord, we have praised His name, we have worshipped Him, we have given <coughs> testimonies, and now is the time that the Lord is going to talk. Yes, hallelujah. So prepare yourself, take a piece of paper and pen, write something down for references. Hallelujah. Because when a message is common and you don't understand anything, you cannot ask a question. Hallelujah. Amen. But after, if you don't understand anything, you can approach the person who brought the message or the person who God talks through him and ask for an explanation. Hallelujah. So without wasting time, I will let you all be on your feet and with the hands of applause, I invite Apostle Watson, give it, give it welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
we thank you for such an hour. It is an hour that we are about to listen to your word of God. The word when preached came when there was chaos on this earth. But you spoke and there was light. I pray in the name of Jesus. That Father, in the midst of chaos and darkness in anybody's life this afternoon, as your word is coming, I pray that there shall be light in the name of Jesus. Yes. If there's anybody here who is being afflicted, I pray in the name of Jesus that let thy word bring deliverance yes. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, have your own way. So wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Therefore, I pray this afternoon that liberty shall be the portion of each and every one here. That we shall live here with the fullness of the Lord, that your name shall be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over any plan of the devil assigned against to take service in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that your spirit is already in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that the saints say, Amen. Amen. Be seated, be seated. Give a clap of friend unto the Lord. I say unto the Lord. Is that all that you can do for the Lord? Hallelujah. Give the Lord a wave of friend. A wave of friend. I say, Jesus, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for how far you brought us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be seated. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You know, it is a time of the year that we are all in a joyful mood for it is a time of celebration. Amen. As we are getting to the end of the year, the Lord who took care of you, who began with you, will end with you. Amen. It is a period of the year that many people get afraid. Because many people are afraid of the end of the year. Because we say at the end of the year, there are always tragedies, sorrows, misfortunes, accidents. Amen? Amen. But he who watches over Israel, who never sleeps nor slumbers, who is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, he who started with you with the year will by all means watch it over you and finish it with you. Amen. He never forsakes us and he never leaves us halfway. Yes. Hallelujah. We shall by all means perfect that which he has started with you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord shall end with you and it shall be more glorious in the coming years. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is a time of celebration, it is a time of joy. For this is a time that God descended on this earth. Amen. Amen. He left his throne and came onto this earth just to save you. Hallelujah. And forgive you of any iniquities and then to make you a righteous person before the Lord. Amen. And a child of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is a Christmas time and today we are here also to dedicate a child. I think Wednesday is the 25th, the day that he said Jesus was born. Amen. 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 We all accepted that he was born on the 25th. Anyway, we don't have any calendar, but we, no. we just take it so. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So today is a Christmas day. I take the Christmas day and we are dedicating a child. So we hear a message about the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. For it is the last Sunday that I'm celebrating the Christmas with you. Maybe the Lord wishing you will see me next year. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And next year is just about some few days ago. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let us open our Bibles to Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2 verse 1. Luke chapter 2, 1 to 7. Luke chapter 2, 1 to 7. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place 
while Quirinus was governing Syria. So all want to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My message is based on verse 7. Hallelujah. Amen. That she brought forth her first son and wrapped him in a swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Amen. Amen. This is the Bible is for you, you can underline that. That because there was no room for them in the inn. Hallelujah. That is the title of my message this afternoon for you. Making room for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Making room for Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Many people have closed their rooms for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. They place a signboard, Jesus, no room, no place for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In their house, they have some rooms that they have closed for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, that if anyone shall open, I shall enter. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. But in our rooms, or in our house, we have some certain rooms that that one we've closed and said, Jesus, no room for you. No place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't hear you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Making room for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says it came to a time that Caesar Augustus wanted to count all his people. You know, at that time, it was the Roman Empire that was governing the world. Amen. Amen. So they were governing the whole Israel, the whole Asia, and Caesar Augustus wanted to count his people and know the number of people that he has. Amen. Amen. He wanted to count any family in order for him to be able to collect tax, that nobody will evade tax. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So Caesar Augustus ordered that anybody should go to his or her hometown and then register. Amen. Amen. That they shall have the name and then the address and of everybody that you cannot evade tax. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it happened that Joseph and Mary to has to register. So according to the word of God, they left Nazareth and went to Bethlehem in Judea to register because they were from the lineage, the family, the family line, the bloodline of David. Amen. Amen. And the hometown of David was Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Amen. That is where David was born as an infant. But he reigned in Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. And according to prophecy, Jesus Christ needed to be born in Bethlehem. So God worked all things around to get Mary in Bethlehem to deliver the promised child. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And according to the word of God, when they got to Bethlehem, because this was the time of census that everybody was going to his hometown to register, the town was crowded that they couldn't 
have any place. So they went to an inn, which is a hotel, a small hotel. Because they didn't have the money to be in a five-star hotel, they were in a small hotel called an inn that now we can call a pension. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. So in the pension, the pension was full up. And they couldn't get a place. Hallelujah. And the time of Mary was also due. So Mary delivered her child in the inn without a room. Hallelujah. And then she wrapped the child with clothes and laid the child in a manger. Praise the Lord. Because there was no room for them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus needed to be born in an inn because he came to sojourn on this earth. He wasn't from this earth. He came for a while. Amen. 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 The Bible says you and I, we are also foreigners. We are passing by. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't make here your permanent stay. No. For one day you'll be going. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you are going, where are you spending eternity? Where are you from? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you spending eternity with the Father or in hell? With the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. I pray that you make that selection. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For as I usually say, the time we don't know, but God has given us the choice to where we shall spend yes. that eternity. Hallelujah. Amen. That one you have the choice to choose. And you can only choose why you are still alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He was also born in an inn because an inn receives everybody. Amen. Amen. So it is with Jesus. Anyone who comes to him, he never casts out. Hallelujah. Amen. He receives anybody. Being poor, being rich, being black, being white, being yellow, being blue. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter how you are, a sinner, a prostitute, no matter what character, when you come to him, he receives you and changes you and glorifies you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And according to the word of God, when Jesus Christ was born, when he was born, he was born in a manger because there was no room for Jesus in the inn. Can you imagine that? Hallelujah. Amen. No room for Jesus in the inn. No room for the King of Kings. No room for the Lord of Lords. No room for the creator of the heaven and the earth. No room for the Messiah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So it is in our lives. We've also closed our rooms for Jesus. Amen. Amen. So it wasn't wonder he didn't have a room at that time because he still doesn't have a room in many of our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What room do you keep for Jesus out of your life? What kind of room do you make for Jesus? Do you make room for him or do you push him aside? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, we are getting to the end of the year and we are entering a new year. But I pray that as we enter the new year, you shall dedicate your whole life 100% to Jesus Christ. Amen. Open any room for him. Let Jesus be the center of your life. And if Jesus is going to be the center of your life in 2014, your life shall never remain the same. Amen. It will be more glorious in the coming years. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm giving you some four points in how to make room for Jesus. That if you are to make room for Jesus in the year 2014, I tell you, your Christian life shall be more glorious. Amen. 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 You can change the world if only you allow Jesus into your rooms. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Making room for Jesus. 
I'm giving you four ways in making room for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one is making room for Jesus in your faith. Amen. 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 Making room for Jesus in your faith. Amen. Amen. You know there are many people who are Christians on Sundays that after Sunday from Monday to Saturday he is not a Christian. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 On Sundays, he is a believer. He has a faith. He is a Christian. From Monday going, he can declare himself to be a Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, it is very easy to be around Christians and then to declare yourself as a Christian. Amen. 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 When we are Christians, it is very easy to say you are a Christian. But are you a Christian everywhere? Amen. Amen. In your house, in your household, in your neighborhood, can you declare yourself to be a Christian? In your workplace, can you declare yourself to be a Christian? Amen. Amen. You know there are some people sometimes when you call on a phone and you say praise the Lord, they can't even respond because of where they are at that time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we need to be bold in our faith and declare. Hallelujah. People, when there is no one, when there is no believer, Anyone who knows that he is a Christian around, I tell you, he is 100% of the world. Amen. Amen. There are many things they hide to do. Amen. Amen. That who goes to another church. But wherever the guy sees us, he comes to us and then try, you know, he speaks with us and then about the things of God. So even I thought that this guy was a leader of that church. He was uh, one of, among the leadership in the church. For whatever he sees us, he just comes to us and then he will be happy. We will discuss about the things of the Lord. And one day, I was in the car passing at a certain corner because I was trying to dodge traffic so I didn't use the main, listen, the main road. And when we, there was a traffic, so in the traffic, Mama said, Apostle, look, look at the guy. Look at this guy. Is it not the guy that who miss and when he always come to us? So not knowing the guy has seen us and then he has turned his face towards us that we won't see him. But this is a guy, wherever he sees us, he rushes to us and try to communicate with us. What the guy was doing is that he had a very big bottle of beer, very chilled up, and he was having his own time. Because there was nobody there. With his sandwich on the left hand. So when he saw us, he just turned his back to us. And then what mama said, is it not a guy? And I was trying to look. He was also trying to look if we are gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. So our first just met, and then I wave, and then he, you didn't wave. <laughs> and I said, Mama, let us go. Let us go and leave the guy because he's hot. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When there is no one around, hallelujah, how do you comport yourself? Making room for Jesus in your faith. I once also met a certain lady who happened to be a church member, very good church member, who comes to church every Sunday. Met her. When I saw her, met her, she was having a secret in her hand. I didn't know. I didn't know. So when we were talking, no, no, she has put the secret in the back, and then it was burning her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mama saw it, and Mama was just itching me. I didn't understand why. So she was telling me, let us go, let us go. I said, why? Leave me, let us go. 
was blessed with the lady. She, that she was. So when we were, went, when we were going, Mama said, "Didn't you see what was happening?" I said, "No." He said, "The guy, the lady was with a cigarette and it was burning her. She was suffering. That was why I was teaching you. Let us go. Let us go. Preaching you that. Let us leave her alone to be free in order not to burn herself." Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is no one around, what do you do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Paul said in Romans chapter 1 verse 16, that I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God that brings salvation unto them that believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That Jesus be the center of my life. I declare 100% to your Lordship. Take absolute control. Every room in my life, I open it to you. Don't close any room for Jesus. Make room for him in every area of your life. It needs to be 100%. Jesus needs to be the center. He needs to take over. Hallelujah. So in 2014, make room for Jesus in your faith. Make room for Jesus in your family. Make room for Jesus in your friendship. Make room for Jesus in your finance. And if you are to make room for him, I tell you, 2014 shall be more glorious than all the years in your life that you have experienced. The Lord bless you and empower you and strengthen you and make his face shine upon you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
are going to the state campus, that is the dedication. So without wasting time, I will invite the officiating officer, that is Apostle Watten, to dedicate the child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord God Almighty for such an hour and occasion. For the Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord and the fruit of the womb is a reward. Hallelujah. Amen. So when God gives us children, it is the time of joy for the parents. And it is the time that they appreciate their joy before the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I usually say, children are for the Lord and they are given unto us to just take care of them. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, if the Lord has not built the house, those that will labor in vain. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if we can really take very good care of the children who God leaves to us, then we need to dedicate them unto the Lord. That he who gave them unto us should take care of them. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Therefore, as the Lord has blessed our dear Isaac and wife with another new daughter, today we are here happily to dedicate the child unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, being Christians, we don't have any culture, but our culture is biblical. It is in the Bible. Amen. Amen. The only culture that we have is that on the because of this that Christ suffered for you and I, leaving us an example to follow his footsteps. Amen. Amen. So when Christ Jesus was born, he was named. Amen. Amen. After the name, he was also sent to the house of the Lord and he was dedicated unto the Lord. For according to the Bible, the prophet Simon was waiting to see that child, that promised child of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And when his eyes saw Jesus, he blessed Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This afternoon we are here to dedicate our dear daughter unto the Lord God Almighty. And you know, naming, why naming? Naming is God Himself who named everything that He created. Amen. Amen. For the first day of creation, when the sun was created, when there was light, He named it. Amen. Amen. He named the six days of creation, and after that, He left it unto man to continue naming. And Adam started naming and he named and he named and as it is so it is today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He gave naming to the, uh, the, our forefathers that the patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, our forefathers, they continue naming and uh, 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 at the eight, eight days of a birth they need to gather in a family and then give a name to the child. Each thing that comes onto this earth needs to get a name. Amen. Child onto uh, somebody in the family who is prominent. That is a favorite person in the family that they name the child after. Either they name it after a celebrity or somebody who is very well known. So people usually give names to some characters in the Bible, some characters in books. They give names to presidents, world presidents who are very popular, or some even choose some film actors whom they usually watch some film characters that they love. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I pray that before you give a name to the child, you need to understand the name, the meaning of the name before. You just don't love a film character and then name your child after. It is very dangerous. Hallelujah. But when you read the Bible, it says, as his name is, so he is. Folly is his name, so he acts foolishly. We know the story. First I'm going to invite. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we just need to understand the name before we name our children after. In the Eastern world or in the biblical time, in the Israel of the, the time of the Israelites of the Jews, they just don't name a child like that. You know, names are like words. Amen. They have meaning. Praise the Lord. If name have a meaning, it's like words. So when you name a child, you give a name to a child, it means you are predicting that child to grow to become what you 
you are naming the child. It is like giving a prophecy to the child. Amen. As we are hearing the word, they can come forward and bring their child. She's naming virtues after a favorite person in the family who is no one but her, his own mother. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us don't cry. I'm going to pray for you. Okay. <laughs> Please let us all stretch up our hands and bless Betty. Because she is for all of us. Imagine it's your own child. What do you want Betty to grow up to be? Release that blessings upon her. Pray for her. Stretch up your hands and pray for her. Stretch up your hands and pray for her. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such an hour. We thank you for the love that you've shown unto the family Isaac. For your wife's children are inheritance from the Lord and the fruit of the woman's side reward. We thank you for your reward to this family by blessing this marriage with children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you've rewarded this family, they are crying and they are saying is that they cannot take care of virtue. Therefore, they commit virtues unto your hand. They dedicate virtues unto you, O oh Lord. My God and my Father, it is my prayer that you shall lift up your eyes upon virtues and bless them to grow in the wisdom of God. Let virtues grow in the knowledge and in the favor of you, God, and with men in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray in the name of Jesus that she shall grow to manifest her name, virtues, that she shall be more precious, even more than rubies, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray in the name of Jesus, virtues, I declare today that no evil shall befall you all the days of your life, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that the Lord shall deliver you from the foulest part. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any hidden plans of the devil, I come against it today in all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it is my prayer that the thousand shall be fall at your left hand and the thousand at your right hand, that the Lord shall deliver you from every trap of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I declare a 24-hour divine protection upon your life, all the days of your life, that he who slumbers, not sleeps, that is the one that watches over Israel, shall watch over your life, that your going out and your coming in shall be a blessing all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. It is my prayer that whomever you are being named today, anything that is not pleasing in the name of Tetua, we come against it and we blot it out with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the word of God says Christ has been made a curse for us and he has delivered us from the curse of the law. Family law that has been written contrary against your life. I brought it out this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you shall never inherit any generational curse in your life, but you shall inherit the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus, it is my prayer that you shall grow. That after you've grown in the Lord and you've grown to your old age, because of you, virtue, your parents shall look after you, look at virtues, and they shall be laughing and rejoicing and giving praise to God. In the name of Jesus, virtues today I declare, and I declare that you shall know no alcohol in the rest of your life. No secret in the rest of your life. I declare in the name of Jesus that you shall be full of your word. That the word of God shall be a lamp unto your path. In the name of Jesus. Virtuous that you are. This 
after. I commit you into the hands of the Lord God Almighty. Virgil's Tetua, this afternoon I commit you into the hands of the Son. I commit you into the hands of the Holy Spirit. That the Lord bless you and make you grow in the favor of the Lord. That you shall grow to fulfill the plans and purposes Let of God live. concerning your life in this land of the living. In the name of Jesus, no one can shorten your life. In the name of Jesus, I commit your parents into the hands of the Lord. That as they are taking care of the heritage of the Lord, Father, it is my prayer that you shall give them the peace of God. And then bless them physically, spiritually, materially, that they can take very good care of your heritage, my God. In the name of Jesus, that they shall know and experience their children's children. That they shall see your children better. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you. And then make you grow to be a blessing. In the name of Jesus. I commit each and every one here into the hands of the Lord. That Lord, because of this dedication, any heart desire here this afternoon, let it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Open the heavens upon the life of your people. That they shall be blessed in all other ways. Especially those who are after the fruit of the womb. I use vengeance to be a point of contact. And I declare every doctor of womb to be open in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let there be a testimony. Someone shall testify to the glory of God that on the day of the dedication of virgins, I took a seat. In the name of Jesus, I call it to be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, if the Godmother and the no, if the Godfather and the Godmother are here, they can join them as they give their testimony. Ready or living, huh? See us if we're ready. And as the word of God came, it is our prayer. Children are heritage of the Lord. They give, the Lord gives them to us to bring them or to admonish them to the Lord. So we they, we need to train them that when they grow up, they will still be in the feet. So it is your duty. I know the Godfather and the Godmother will help them physically, materially, spiritually to bring the child to the Lord. Amen. I think you have a testimony to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the living God. To God alone be the glory for great things he has done. The greater things he is doing even right now and we believe for sure his promise never fails that he will do tomorrow hallelujah without even i proceed to share a testimony there's a very wonderful man of god in our midst whom god has blessed so much with anointed voice to sing to bless the name of the living god and to bless our soul shall we with a clap of welcome presiding and i was able to actually sing to glorify the name of the living god before i even share my testimony hallelujah so, 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 you are welcome <laughs> Yes, why don't you focus here? Or say, I'm about to talk about you. 
Father, maybe you have seen him, but you don't know his name. He's Mr. Frederick A. Addo. He's the Godfather. And we have our dear sister, uh, Mrs. Barbara Adi. Popularly known as Nana Abba. Hallelujah. Let's clap for them. Okay, now, uh, my Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says we overcome him, the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimonies. If I stand here and I say God has not read your lips, a Christian without a testimony is not a true Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. For as far as we are in the darkness and God brought us into a marvelous light, it's a very big testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. So I stand here to share a testimony, a wonderful that God has done for our family. Hallelujah. We know we are all one and we are all big family. Hallelujah. I stand here to thank the Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh. I am that I am is his name. He healed the one who created heaven and not who only created him. Hallelujah. He created time and not restricted to time. Hallelujah. He created age, but he's not restricted to age. Hallelujah. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shall we all clap for our Lord and Master Jesus Christ? That he lives. Hallelujah. And if he lives, he can change tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God for Apostle who has been a blessing. This is the very second time that he has been here to dedicate our children before the Almighty God. Apostle, God bless you. And we so much appreciate your wonderful work, Silas. Uh, thanks also goes to the presiding and the elders for doing a very wonderful job. Hallelujah. Since our pastor left us, I'm not even in the very good mood. Hallelujah. But they have been taking care of the church of God, doing all that they can do. It's not easy work. Hallelujah. Shall we clap for them as they have done a very wonderful job? Working. Hallelujah. The elders of the church. Ready or living? for ready. My mom, my two beautiful sisters. JJ, everybody, say a very big thank you to uh, my wife. They have a, a group 
they are women's groups, they call them Unity Lovers. Unity Lovers, are you here? Unity Lovers. Unity lovers. Unity lovers. I am not and I will sing this one song to glorify the name of the Lord. Rock band. done a lot in, in my life and he's continuing doing it so I give all the praise to him it's him alone ready I, don't living, huh? it's him alone. Ready. I don't have anything to say but I will say thank you and I thank you all of you who just came to accompany us of the naming of our child thank you very much and God bless you. I am going to tell you I am going to you I am going to tell you that I am going to I am going to tell you that I am going to tell you that I am going to tell you that I am going to I am going to tell you that I am going to I am going to tell you to I am Mr. Hanswa Sada, and your godfather as P, Mr. Ferry A. Adu, and also Obuapa, Obibiemu, Nanaba, or your band, respecting the band, Yamisu, Ishrano, Nanana, what's why you live? Radio living. Radio living. I just want to let you know. I'm going to move on to you. 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 Why? Radio living. Yes, I'm going to move on to you. 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 I'm going to so sorry, I'm not sure you know. No more, go go go, Aha, precisely, I don't see what's going on. Or to me, I'm going to go for a journey. I'm going to see what's going on. 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 i am going I'm not going to cry. 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 i I Wednesday. I come to I'm to I'm to
Amen.
Whatever the case may be, this year, we are sitting and not so much of this idea. It's not hard to sit down and man yummy. It's not that I'm going to be away and what say yummy in Shamo. In fact, put on a movie cast in the film. I'm going to come out with a bank and mission put on. Hallelujah. Where bank and mission put on. Hallelujah. And we are sitting in our money and our money. In the end, we are sitting in our money. Hallelujah. In the air group. Me for coming so as I had that would be a no here or regular or your Juma or a year charming or your Jumadi a friend at three months you Jumadi if you had a beer a bow and a Joe Duba no no and coffee to Bacona or your extra margin to mediate a more regular event. A Mr. Frederick A. Adam so on us were a year and right above France. I say, Mr. Abyssini at Sna ye no coffee no Siana for now or your surgeon. Your laws, your rights, and your duties. And the sovereignty, let the hour and so on. And what a sorry be pray, I will preach the hour, but you also. Your brother would not hear a choir of Ayala Francis, where you have black refreshing or kind history about Africans. And see, it's so more, and it's your question. Now we so we can. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen and amen. amen. We are so. Delighted and happy that uh, he has gotten a third born, a third child, which is a girl. Because he was always telling me he wanted a girl that he will name after his ma mother. So we are very happy. Uh, what I will say is that all of the presenters of Radio Living, we are very, very happy. Uh, he's our boss. And, uh, he has been teaching us a lot about the radio. I think Radio Living is helping the Ghanaian community in France and uh, everywhere. So uh, what I will say, Chief, is that we are grateful and we have a very small envelope for the baby. So we will give it to you. All the announcements we did, we pass on the radio, we will not charge you if they are free. 
So thank you so much. Me that was in me here regularly in the opening. I then I have a channel. I call up a paper name of it. Anti energy. So I'm also so I'm here sending the money. I'm regularly this is where cost was said of kind. Anti. Then I see I'm in show on the mama babies. Mama babies. And I'm making some announcement. I here regularly this man who ever never. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And now we are coming to an end of the service. So I will invite Pastor Godwin to pray a closing prayer and after we will receive benediction from Apostle. So Pastor Godwin, pray closing prayer for us. I will stand on feet. And so, Father, we thank you today. We we'll bless you for what you have done here today. May your name and your name alone be magnified. We well, thank you because the year is coming to a close. And Lord, we drop all the burdens, all the sorrows, all the difficulties and failures of this year. Oh God, we drop them at your feet. Amen. And Lord, as we see the beginning of the new year, oh God, we are stepping into abundance, Amen. into fulfillment, Amen. into destiny accomplished in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, no sickness of these days is around or permitted to see the first day of the new year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, none of us standing upon our feet today will die before January 1. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we spoil the works of darkness. Amen. We nullify their plans. Amen. We interrupt their movements. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, may your word be echoed in our lives. Amen. May your word be echoed in the animal kingdom. Amen. In the earth realm. In the spirit realm, may your word be echoed in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you today. We well, thank you for your daughter, oh God, that has been dedicated before you today. Baba, I pray, I pray, I pray, and I pray that this time, oh God, men and women that lives in this land will recognize that once upon a time, a time like this was lived on this land. In the name of Jesus, wherever any traitor is hidden, wherever she step her feet, oh God, she will be a possessor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, this time, oh God, will grow to become a woman of substance, a woman that will put smile on her parents' mouth, a woman that will put honey on her parents' mouth. In the name of Jesus, child, I speak to you as a servant of God. The moon will not sweep you by night. The sun will not sweep you by day. And that shall the less of pestilence come near your dwelling. You shall be blessed. And the blessed shall call you blessed. The rich shall call you rich. You shall grow in wisdom. You shall grow in mind. You shall grow in understanding. You shall bring succor to all the blacks in this land. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us receive the benediction. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly according to what we think of purpose, may he bless your spirit, your soul, and your body to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless all of you. You can shake a brother, shake a sister, and release the blessings of the Lord.
No. 